with an Illuvion, Corypheus could cross into the Fade in the flesh. Indeed. The Inquisitor can attest that these artifacts still work if one knows how to use them. What happens when Corypheus enters the Fade? Why, he will gain his heart's desire and take the power of a god. Or, and this is more likely, the lunatic will unleash forces that tear the world apart. I won't allow it. I can't. Indeed, should Corypheus succeed, do not doubt you would be first to feel his holy wrath. Pardon me, but does this mean everything's lost unless we get to the Alluvian before him? Corypheus has a head start, no matter how quickly our army moves. We should gather our allies before we march. Can we wait for them? We should send our spies ahead to the Arbor Wilds. Without support from the soldiers? You'd lose half of them. Then what should we do? You overcome it, all three of you together. Josephine, have our allies send scouts to meet us in the wilds. Liliana, your fastest agents will join them. Together, we'll have enough spies to slow down Corypheus's army until Cullen's soldiers arrive. <laughs> Such confidence. But the Arbor Wilds are not so kind to visitors. Old elven magic lingers in those woods. We'd be remiss to not take advantage of your knowledge, Lady Morgan. Please, lend us your expertise. Here's why I came here. Although it is good to see its value recognized. Any further instructions, Inquisitor? The Inquisition began as a handful of soldiers. Thanks to you, we're now a force that will topple a self-proclaimed god. I could ask for no finer counsel, no better guidance. I speak for all of us when I answer. We could ask for no finer cause. We'll hound Corypheus in the wilds before he can find the temple or this Illuvion.
Inquisitor. How goes the battle, Captain? The Red Templars fall beneath our blades, Your Worship. Commander Cullen says they're nearly finished. Our scouts saw Corypheus traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. Do only what you must. We need enough people for a celebration when we get back to Skyhold. We will not fail you, my lord, no matter what comes. Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. I wonder, is it Andraste your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips? They show me respect, Morrigan. No one mistakes me for the Maker. True. You are far more likely to come to their aid than a Chantry fable. But I digress. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the Temple of Mathal. Which is? A place of worship out of elven legend. If Corypheus seeks it, then the Illuvian he covets lies within. Let us hope we reach this temple before the entire forest is reduced to ash. Listen to how close the fighting's gotten. It will be worse ahead. If the soldiers aren't careful with their fires, they'll do Corypheus' work for him. One last push and we can lick our wounds. I wonder if Corypheus will show. Do you sense the magic crackling? Something more powerful than the Red Templars stirs.
death to those enslaved in Adam. If they are forced to obey him, death will be a blessing.
Hunter. We are keeping them at bay. Follow the river to the temple. There. That must be the Temple of Mythol. Be ready. Corypheus will be there. I hear fighting ahead. They still think to fight us, Master. These are but remnants. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrows. Well of Sorrows? Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god.
It cannot be. Cross the bridge, now. At last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. You said Corypheus wanted an Illuvian, but he mentioned a Well of Sorrows, which is right. I am uncertain of what he referred to. Would it be the same? Could Illuvian translate into Well of Sorrows? No. It seems an Illuvian is not the prize Corypheus seeks. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. Let's find this well before Corypheus' people do. I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. We saw him die. And his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn, or Grey Warden. So that's how the bastard survived, Hawk. We'll find a way to stop Corypheus once we're done here. It is strange. Archdemons possess the same ability, and still the Grey Wardens are able to slay them. Yet Corypheus, they locked away. Perhaps they knew he could do this, but not how. Corypheus's lackeys managed to open it. Perhaps the altar holds a clue. Why would this be here? Something wrong? It depicts the dread wolf, Van Harel. In elven tales, he tricks their gods into sealing themselves away in the beyond for all time. Setting Van Harel in Mathal's greatest sanctum is as blasphemous as painting Andraste naked in the chart. Some chantries display statues of Andraste's betrayer, Maferath, as part of the chant. It might fulfill a similar function, a reminder of vigilance for the faithful. It appears the temple's magics are still strong. Is this elven? Does it say anything about this Well of Sorrows? Atishor via Abalassan. It means enter the path of the Well of Sorrows. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. Shizen. Shizenen. Tis all I can translate. That it mentions the well, 
is a good omen. At least we know the Well of Sorrows was important. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. Perform a ritual to appease Elven God? Long dead or no, I don't like it. Do not step any place you have stepped before. There can be no vacillation. This is where petitioners walked the path of their gods. It is where they paid fealty to the gods. I have seen it in the Fade. Only the Reverend were permitted to touch this ground, and only in solemn contemplation. We might catch them. Hold a moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. An army fights and dies for us. The longer we tarry, the more soldiers we lose outside. Let's jump down and be done with this place. In this case, I must agree with the witch. This is ancient ground, deserving of our respect. You see the urgency? We cannot find the Well of Sorrows unprepared. We don't know what's behind those doors. They might have a reason for going another way. Had they the option, they would have proceeded. That must lead to their goal. Their goal? Or yours? There is... a danger to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once, things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. I wasn't expecting your answer to be so romantic. Trust me, your surprise is matched only by my own. Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. It said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What exactly did that altar say about the Well of Sorrows? Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. The term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the sweet sacrifice of duty. It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake. 
yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. Did you not trust me enough to tell me about this price when you read it? I hoped to find more information. If I intended to cheat you, I would have feigned ignorance entirely. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way. certain Corypheus is using the power of the Blight to make himself immortal? Perhaps you forget. I was in Ferelden during the Fifth Blight. I have seen a true Archdemon rage. How Corypheus gained the power to send his soul into Blighted Bodies, that is the real question. Let's continue. As you wish. Will you abandon these rituals, Inquisitor? Think carefully. I suggest we step carefully, Inquisitor. Continue. As you wish.
Might be something here. Better take a closer look. Expected. What was this chamber used for? You stumble down our paths at the side of one of our own. You bear the mark of magic, which is... familiar. How has this come to pass? What is your connection to those who first disturbed our slumber? They are my enemies as well as yours. I am called Abelas. We are sentinels, tasked with standing against those who trespass on sacred ground. We wake only to fight, to preserve this place. Our numbers diminish with each invasion. I know what you seek. Like all who have come before you, you wish to drink from the Vera Belasar. The place of the Way of Sorrows. He speaks of the well. It is not for you. It is not for any of you. Solus, perhaps he'll listen to you. What shall I say, Inquisitor? Shall I sway him from a millennia of service by virtue of our shared blood? He clings to all that remains of his world, because he lacks the power to restore it. We came to stop Corypheus. He's here to take your well, not I. I do not believe you. Our duty is clear. The Vera Belasan shall not be usurped. Even if I must destroy it. Masal Dinan. No! Morgan.
waste of life. Such a waste. To live through eternity only to end up like that. Then perhaps you should have done the rituals, instead of blundering after the Magisters. You're surprised? This temple doesn't exactly roll out welcome mats.
well of sorrow. So Mithal endures. Andraste, guide us. Bastards. A day's march, hours of fighting, and still fierce as dragons. The Chantry never knew what it was throwing away. Samson, sir, watch out! Inquisitor, you've got a damn long reach. We come to the back end of nowhere, and here you are. You and your Red Templars weren't my concern. Not until now. You keep getting in over your head. Don't you? Corypheus chose me twice. First as his general, now as the vessel for the Well of Sorrows. You know what's inside the well? Wisdom. The kind of wisdom that can scour a world. I give it to Corypheus, that he can walk into the Fade without your precious anchor. Once Corypheus is that powerful, you and your soldiers will just slow him down. <laughs> is that the best you could do? You're no match for Corypheus. Even if you drink from the well, you'll never master its wisdom as he could. This is the strength that Chantry tried to bind. But it's a new world now. With a new god. I will bring Corypheus the well's power and your head. All at once. To arms!
can't take it from Corypheus. You mustn't. He's still breathing. You can take him back to Skyhold for judgment. Abelard! You heard his parting words, Inquisitor. The elf seeks to destroy the Well of Sorrows. So the Sanctum is despoiled at last. You would have destroyed the Well yourself, given the chance? To keep it from your grasping fingers. Better it be lost than bestowed upon the undeserving. Fool. You'd let your people's legacy rot in the shadows. Corypheus needed Samson to use the well. Without him, there's no vessel to claim it. The moment we leave, he will send more forces to secure this place. The well clearly offers power, Inquisitor. If that power can be turned against Corypheus, can you afford not to use it? Do you even know what you ask? As each servant of Mithal reached the end of their years, they would pass their knowledge on through this. All that we were, all that we knew, it would be lost forever. This can't be easy. Holding on to what's left. You cannot imagine. Each time we awaken, it slips further from our grasp. There are other places, friend, other duties. Your people yet linger. Elven such as you? Yes, such as I. Our duty is all that remains. Those who drank from the Vira Belasan paid a great price, bound to the service of Mithal. For eternity. You claim Mithal was truly a god. To you, it shall make no difference. defending all that was left of what once was. And would have happily buried us in the process. The decision to kill Abelas was mine, Morrigan, not yours. The elf nearly brought the walls down upon us. I did what had to be done to save something far more valuable. You'll note the intact Illuvian? I was correct on that count, at least. Is it still a threat? Can Corypheus use it to travel the Fade? You recall when I took you through my Illuvian, I said each required a key? The well is the key. Take its power, and Mathal's last Illuvian will be no more use to Corypheus than glass. I did not expect the well to feel so... hungry. Let's not be reckless. I don't want anyone hurt. I am willing to pay the price the well demands. I am also the best suited to use its knowledge in your service. Or more likely to your own ends? What would you know of my ends, Elf? You are a glutton drooling at the sight of a feast. You cannot be trusted. Of those present, I alone have the training to make use of this. Let me drink, Inquisitor. I hate to say it, but Abelas's plan to destroy the well may be the best one. What happens when Corypheus comes for you again? 
He is immortal. The wisdom of the well may include a way to destroy him. Give me this and I fight at your side. I shall be your sword. Thoughts? She is right about only one thing. We should take the power which lies in that well. If it is truly between you and her, then let her take the risk. Make her help us all. You're asking me? This is a lot of... weird... I barely understand how any of this works. Enough deliberation. Give me your decision. It's yours. Are you all right? Elasin Salah. Visan. Visan Allah. I. I am intact. There is much to sift through. But now we can. It is... I'm pleased to report we won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corypheus and his archdemon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corypheus is finished. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not hide.
Meaning he will attack us directly at Skyhold. Not necessarily, but neither will he remain idle. And how could you have such insight into his plans? The Well of Sorrows held many voices, and they speak to me now from across the ages. They hold wisdom, secrets I never dreamed possible. But even they fear what Corypheus has become. Should we fear him more than his army? Possibly. Luckily for you, he has a weakness. The dragon he calls is not truly an archdemon. It is a dragon in which Corypheus has invested part of his being. He doubtless did so out of pride to emulate the gods of old. That pride can be exploited. Kill the dragon, and his ability to leap into other bodies is disrupted. He can be slain. You're sure? If there are no bodies for him to jump to... You assume there is a limit to the range of his power. There is not. Then what do you propose? Killing the dragon is no simple task, if it could even be found. There is a way to defeat the dragon, to match Corypheus in his power. The well whispers it to me now. Your help will be required, Inquisitor. Speak to me when you are ready and we shall begin. I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime. 